Hi, it's Chris. In today's video, we're going to be talking about getting that smell out of your washer. We'll be going over the following points. Things that will generate a smell in your washer, how to clean your washer, and prevention. So let's get that horrible smell out of your washer. Your washer is one of the busiest appliances in your home today. And with a lot of use, over time, they can start to generate a bit of an odor or a smell that will get more intense and more intense. Some of the reasons your washer may be emitting an odor are hard water. If where you live has hard water, it could lead to lime scale buildup, preventing soap and dirt from draining properly, creating a soap scum. Bacteria buildup. Bacteria buildup, as soap scum builds, it creates the perfect breeding ground for bacteria to produce bad smells and even mold. Our third item is damp laundry. Times when you're not able to quickly get your laundry out of your washer and into your dryer on the line is going to create a bit of an odor. Our last item is leftover moisture. Manufacturers advise that you leave that door open just a little bit to allow that tub to dry out when you're not doing laundry. Now that we've talked about some of the things that will generate a smell in your washer, let's talk about the things you're going to need in order to get rid of it. Whether you have a top load washer or a front load, both are quite easy to clean. And while there are some commercial products out there, we recommend an all natural cleaner. So what you'll need for all natural ingredients are two cups of white vinegar or fresh lemon juice, and it will be going actually into the drum itself. Our next natural ingredient, we're going to mix up our baking soda and water. Four tablespoons of baking soda and a quarter of a cup of water. And this will be going in our detergent dispenser. Now that we've added our ingredients, we just want to run it through a normal cycle with a warm water. The combination of vinegar and baking soda will break down and remove grime buildup, as well as removing any bad smells. So now the cycle is finished and we've opened our door and we're just going to let it air dry. Right away you can tell there's a definite improvement. It smells much better than it did from the beginning. So if you have a front load, the next thing you're going to want to do is just clean that whole front boot or door gasket area. That's the spot where water and, and uh, mold and buildup can lie. So you're just going to take a little bit of liquid bleach in a spray bottle and we're just going to give that a spray and a bit of a wipe. The last thing we want to talk about is cleaning your drain pump filter. This would be your, for your front load washer. You'll find either an access door on the left or the right hand side near the bottom. You can open that door and what you'll find is a, a knob type item that you can unscrew and pull out and that's a filter and that's going to catch hair and debris and all kinds of stuff that will create an odor. So just remove that. You'll need to have a towel down the ground as well because there will be a little bit of water come out. But take that filter out, rinse it out, and get it nice and clean, reinsert it back in your machine, tighten it up, close your door and you'll find that makes a big difference in the smell coming from your washer. So now that we have your machine smelling so much better, we want to talk about prevention. And prevention is the things that you can do in order to keep your machine smelling good from here on out. Always leave your washing machine door open after each use so it can dry out properly. Use high efficiency detergents. Clean your door gasket seal on each occasion. Clean your drain pump each month. And if your machine has the auto wash feature, make use of it. That's why the manufacturer put it there. Thanks very much for watching. Hope we've been able to give you some tips on how to get your washer smelling like new. If you have some cleaning tips you'd like to share, put it down in the comments section. And don't forget to subscribe. And while you're at it, swing over to Fix.com and check out our blog.